Isang magandang umaga mga kapatid sa Panginoon. Tayo ay magpasalamat sa araw at panibagong buhay na binigay ng Diyos. Ang ating passage ngayon ay sa Philippians chapter 4 verse 4. And it says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. And the title of our devotion this morning is Be Joyful in All Things. Tayo po muna ay manalangin. Aming dakilang Diyos na Ama, maraming salamat sa inyong kabutihan sa panibagong umaga muli na pinagkalod sa amin, panibagong buhay na pwede kami magpasalamat at pwede kami maggalak, Panginoon, dahil kayo pa rin, Panginoon, ang tumutulong sa amin at gumagabay. Kayo, Panginoon, ang aming pinupuri at pinapasalamatan sa pagkakataong muli na makapag-aral ng Iseta. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, Amen. Joy is foundational to the Christian life. And the Bible teaches us to be joyful in all things. In Philippians chapter 3, verse 1, it says, Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. And also in Philippians chapter 4, verse 4, it says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. The Apostle Paul, as he wrote this, and also the Word of God commands us to rejoice in the Lord. Let us remember the situation of the Apostle Paul when he is writing the book of Philippians. He was imprisoned and away from those he loved. And yet, the Apostle Paul wrote these verses. And also in Philippians chapter 2, verse 17, it says, Even if I'm being poured out, as a drink offering, I rejoice and share my joy with you all. Grabe po, no? Sabi niya, I rejoice and share my joy with you all. Kahit po si Apostle Paul ay nasa kulungan na siya ay nag-iisa, malayo sa kanyang mga minamahal, but yet, he was able to wrote these things. Sinasabi niya, I rejoice, I share my joy with you all. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, it is possible to be joyful even though we had experienced persecution and knew there was more coming. People who were grieving the loss of loved ones, people experiencing all the hard things of life, and even when we think our world seems to be falling apart. The Word of God says, in all of this, remember that we are in Christ. There is a joy that is ours that can never be taken away. That's why ang sabi po yung, be joyful in all things. Remember, when the Apostle Paul wrote this, he is talking to people who have the Holy Spirit in them, who have a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Word of God is saying, as a person who is in Christ, we can choose to rejoice in all that He is for us and all that He has done for us and all that He still has in store for us. Because of Christ's love and devotion to us, we can be joyful even in times of disappointment, heartache, personal loss, because joy is not based on our circumstances. It is based on a person that is the Lord in Jesus Christ. Christian joy flows from realizing our position in Christ. Why? Because God has graciously laid hold of our life as we look back our, over our Christian life and see what God has done to us, you will maybe can say this as the Apostle Paul wrote this in Philippians chapter 3, verse 8. And it says, I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. Rejoicing in the Lord means that there is a new song in our hearts, the song of the redeemed, and the din and distress of life cannot drown out because the Lord, our God, He is the chief object 
of our joy. Again, my brothers and sisters in the Lord, be joyful in all things because we have Jesus in our life. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you again for your word. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us. Nawa kami, Panginoon, ay maging joyful in all things, even though life is hard. Why? Because we have you in our life. And that is the main reason that we can rejoice. Thank you again. May you bless all those who have listened to your word. And may you bless them, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Good morning and God bless.